tuning back into my channel it is maki girl here again with another makeup tutorial so um today no tomorrow starts spring break here in florida tampa florida hillsborough county um so i just wanted to do something you know springy i guess and my life is not complete without burgundy like for real it's not complete without burgundy so that's what i did i have a little pink going on for um, above my eyeliner some glitter because my life is not you know complete also without glitter so hello that's what i am doing so i just wanted to put something together really quick if you want to know how i achieve this look continue to watch and here we go let's go all right guys let's go ahead and get started oh my goodness it was so many things going on i have a new setup so I was reaching over. I have to find a new set of guys. But anyway, let's go ahead and get started. I'm going to start with by priming my eyes with the LA Girls Natural Concealer. Again, I had a new setup, so all my stuff was not where it was normally should be. So, yes. So that's what you see me doing here. I'm priming my eyelid with the LA Girls Natural, and I'm going to blend that out with a brush. And then going into my Morphe 35C palette, I am using a tan orange to just um, bring some warmth to the, to the look that I'm about to do. Also in that same palette, I am going to use the lightest color of burgundy that I was able to find in there. And with a circular motion, I am going to blend that in because I do want this to have a sort of smoky effect. Back into that same palette, I'm going with a deeper burgundy. And again, I'm going to shape it a little bit on my outer V. Again, cleanup is not until the end of this look. All of my looks, I do clean up at the end. Um, that's why I, I mostly do my eyes first because I just be doing what I want to do. And then in my Sephora uh, mineral little eyeshadow, little round thing that I, I purchased from them like a year ago that I never used. That's what I am putting on my lid, and I'm just gonna keep packing it on until I get to the consistency that I want. It's like a gold color, it's a very light gold, um, very shimmery. So the camera did not do it any justice. And, yeah. So there we go with that. And then with a smaller, more defined brush, back into that 35C palette of Morphe's um, 35C, I'm going in again with that deeper burgundy, and I'm just shaping the eye just a little bit. And you just keep building it to your your liking, to the consistency that you want. Now I am using a cake liner. This is in jet black. Um, it's activated by water. And I am using one of my MAC brushes. I can't think of the name. I'll put it in the description. But this is one of the eyeliner brushes. And I'm just winging my liner out like I normally do. And with that cake liner, y'all, y'all have to work fast, honey, because it dries fast. So make sure you're working. Be ready, honey. Be ready. And don't don't be scared of eyeliner. Like I know a lot of people, a lot of my clients, like they're, I'm scared to put on, you know, eyeliner and wing my liner. Makeup is erasable. Did y'all know that? You can erase and start over. Now, let's pause for a, dan a dance session here. Y'all know. I can't even tell y'all what I was listening to. But you know I was jamming. Oh, oh, that was Missy Elliott. Now, with my Tyra's um, dual cold pencil, I am using the one side that has the black liner. And I am going into my waterline and just defining my eye to make me look sexy. And under my eye, I am taking a angled brush. That is a Sonia Kashuk brush. It was a limited edition that I got from Target. And I'm just going under my eye with that burgundy. Now, there was a glitter that I used. I have to put it in the description because I do not have the name of it. But I am using a blue uh, base above the uh, black eyeliner. And then I'm going to pack it on with that glitter. Glitter, you just have to keep building and building and building until you get it to the consistency that you like. So, just make sure you just keep building until you like it. Don't 
Do it for nobody else, baby. Do it for you. And my clumpy ass done waste some of the moisturizer. But now I am moisturizing my face. And as you guys know, I speed up. Hella speed up the foundation routine. If you ever want to know how to do my foundation routine, I am going to be updating that soon. So you'll be able to check that out here shortly. But anytime I'm doing my makeup, y'all, I am dancing. It's a lot that I cut out because I just be off the chain. I be up late, so as always, I am taking my NYX and I am using a color corrector in orange to neutralize those dark circles. And then after I do that, I'm going to, of course, put my matte, my matte um, studio face. It's plus gray. I am going to really moisturize my skin, get it up really good. I waste the foundation, y'all. To guess what I did. But anyway, though, now I'm going to just dip it on and then I am going to dip it into my skin. And then after I do this, I am actually going to then go over it um, with a blender, with a wet blender. I always do that anytime. Any foundation I pretty much use, even down to my clients, whatever I apply it with, whether it be a foundation brush, whatever, I always go over it with a blender because it gives it that amazing finish. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and put my blender on. going to use my LA Girl. I mix it with the um, LA Girl Cool Tan and then I mix it with the LA Girl Natural to bring um, in some highlighting features of it. So that's what you'll see me do in a second. I'm now adding my natural to get more of a highlight. Oh, that's good, Tim. I'm sorry. And then in the chestnut of the this is what I'm going to do today. I have an oval face, so you normally know only have to come to the side of the body, but I just be going overboard, girl. I don't know. So I'm just going to keep tapping that in with my beauty blender into a blend and mess it up once again. And get my eyes. Damn, look what I've always tried to go for. Sometimes it works and sometimes it doesn't. I can just be still and stop singing. Yeah. Oh, it's called Very In Love, because I am very in love with myself. That wig, um, y'all 
I'm like, I'm gonna try something different. I'm gonna put a hair store here and camp it in Tampa Beauty. If you know about it, go check it out. It's in Fowler in Tampa, Florida. And what I did there is I just um, sprayed my face with the matte lip plus, and then as it was drying, I put some highlights. I didn't go overboard my highlights, and this is the finished look, y'all. So you know, very simple, very easy to do, just a little glam for you. So if you like this video. Don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel. Give me a thumbs up and leave me a comment and let me know how you feel. Alright y'all, have a blessed day.